Yeah, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic! We are back with some more slippery inventions. I'm actually in a new world this time. I'm in my other world, my old world. It's basically the world where I tinker with stuff and, um, and yeah, we we'll play around with ideas. There's a lot of failed machines in this world. Um, but we have got a successful one just in front of us here. And it's pretty funny. I'm going to show you what it is in one second. But first, what we're going to do today is we are going to try and build a flying machine. So I took to Twitter and I said, hey, guys, what do you want to build today? And somebody said a UFO. Someone said a higher balloon. Someone said a spaceship. That's kind of like a UFO squid. But someone said an airplane. So we're trying to build something that's flying today. And we're going to hopefully try and control it. Now, I'm going to give myself 20 minutes because we don't have all the time in the world to do this. We're going to give ourselves 20 straight minutes to build kind of like an aeroplane or a flying machine. It doesn't have to be like an aeroplane. As long as it flies, that's all that matters. But anyway, to on to the episode. Uh, I'm going to show you what this is. Now, before, like, me going on with this, before me actually showing you, just guess what this does. Just have a guess, okay? Just, just guess. Yep. Yeah. Guesses in, comments in. What is it? Yeah? It's th okay, you think it's that, right. Well, actually, what it is, the frame rate is so laggy here, but you're going to see why. So if we hop on... It's just kind of like a little bit of a, a normal steering car. But then, you press this beautiful one button here. We'll zoom out a bit for this. You ready? We press the one and... <laughs> Look at this thing. It's kind of like a cherry picker type of thing. So if you want to you know, if you want to chop some trees down right at the top, but you can't reach in your car. This, my friend, is amazing. This is... Oh, we're kind of crashing into a bush there. But if we go first person, it's even silly. Watch this. If we press one again. Yeah, that's kind of it. <laughs> it's kind of a transforming machine. Um, but, I don't know, in a, in a scissor fashion, I like it. It's really cool, and it's really silly, and it's really fun. And it's all done by using a controller and the little bearings, but, yeah. So that is, I, don't, I haven't named it yet. I don't know, if you, wanna, if you, wanna, you guys want to name this stupid machine, then, <laughs> by all means, you can do it. But that is glorious. That's one of my favorites. I think this was like, kind of like a rocket car that I did. What did I even do on this? I've got switches, but I can't remember what I did. Oh no, this this is this is very fast. I think that the engine's too too fast on this. Okay, I'm gonna press one and two. I'm gonna see what happens. Okay, let's do this. Okay, one. Oh! Ah, so I was like kinda like okay. So this was one of my early flying machines that I kind of uh, invented, and it was supposed to be like a half car, half flying machine. So you could drive along, uh, and then when you wanted to, you could press uh, one and two on the D-pad, and literally you could just fly. You could you could just fly like a boss. You press them both at the same time. Look at this. So you could. I mean, there's no control as of such. Ah! <laughs> But it, 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 was a, it was a means of transforming into a flying object while actually as a car. But anyway, on to the episode. We are going to try and create a plane. So I kind of think the best way to do this in this episode is try to go to a flat area. So we're going to go to the runway. Right, here we are on the runway. And we already have a plane. But this was kind of like one of my, uh, my, little, my little inventions that I made. Um, like off camera, like I spent a while making it. It, it pretty much flies, um, but I don't want to do that today. I don't want to. I don't want to kind of like just just show you guys what I've been building. I kind of want. We'll fly that at the end, but I want to try and make my creation now. So I'm just gonna get rid of all these old little inventions that I made, and I've just got rid of the runway there. And uh, yeah, let's let's build a flying machine. Now I kind of think like the easiest way to build a flying machine is obviously wings, rockets, and stuff like that. Now, with a normal aeroplane, obviously how it works is you have like an aeroplane that has thrust and then the wings come like down slightly and then it gets elevated with like the speed and stuff like that. But in this game, that doesn't really work. All that really matters like with the mechanics is thrust. So what I'm going to do is I really want to make kind of like a UFO. I think that'd be awesome. So it's going to need to spin because it's either going to spin or it's going to not spin. I'm going to get it to spin. Let's get it to spin. So we're going to go for... Uh, let's go for this fancy block. This is like really hypnotizing. So we're gonna do this as quickly as possible. Might not work. It might. It might. It might work. I don't know. I, re I really don't know if it will work or not. To be honest with you, but we're gonna give it a go. We got 20 minutes to do this. Sort of. We probably got less now because we've been messing around with stuff. But yeah, let me basically build a. Yeah, let's build. Let's build. A, let's build a UFO. Let's do it. So we're gonna use this fancy block here. Now, um, this is going to be boring, so I'm going to speed this up. It's basically going to be me getting a, like a perfect circle, so 
I'm going to speed this up and then I'll keep catch up with you guys when I've done it. What we have now is we have this sort of circle. I think it's symmetrical. Is it symmetrical? It kind of is symmetrical. I didn't look at any tutorials. I kind of just did it off the top of my head. Um, and it looks pretty symmetrical. I am happy with it, okay? So what I'm going to do is we're going to fit it with a control because we want this thing to spin. Spin so quickly. Um, so what we need is we just need a controller and a switch. Just a controller and switch. So if we put this on here and then put that down here, then we should just be able to link it up. And link that up like that. And then just tell it to go 360 and repeat it and really fast, I guess. <laughs> I think so. The switch is not... Yes, it is. You know it is. Ah! Woo! Ow, that kind of threw me everywhere. <laughs> but that works. So that is the basic designs, okay? So the thrusters are going to be connected to these oofa for things. And it's just going to spin. If we just turn it off, please. Ah. No, I need to turn it off. Can I... Please? Can we... Oh, there we go. <laughs> right, can we can we take this thing now, do you think? I don't know if it's all going to come off as one. Um, I don't know how this is going to work, guys. Um, I guess if we... I really just want to disconnect it. But the thing is, it's going to... Maybe well, we can't have it spinning, can we? We can't have it spinning on nothing. So maybe we have to build something underneath. What we'll do is I'll remove this piece, okay? Then we'll be able to lift it up. Okay, whoa, very laggy. Oh my. <laughs> so laggy. Right, okay. So if we if we repeat this maybe. I don't know if we should repeat this or not. I don't think we need to. I think if we just build like kind of like something for it to sit on. Uh maybe some wheels or something like that. Um and then maybe the wheels fold in when it starts spinning. I don't know. I'm so confused. Okay, let me just put the thrusters on because I just wanna I just wanna see this thing spin. That's all that I want. That's, that's pretty much what I want to see it do right now. So if we just put a thruster in each corner, okay, like this, and like this, and... Now this may not be... You might not be able to control this. I'm just going to warn you guys. This might go a little bit mental, but it will fly. I will promise you that today will be the day that I successfully make a flying spherical object. Okay, right. So let me do this. Let me bring these down here. Let's go... Let's go say one, two, three down, like here, and I'll do this in all corners, so we'll go one, two, three, uh, and then down, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach wheel to these, and then I'm going to see how I make them come back up, but you know what, it doesn't matter, once the thrusters start going, it ain't going to matter, to be honest with you, I'm probably going to be, I'm, this is probably going to be so wrong, but it's, it's fine, don't worry about it, we'll, we'll, we'll work out the little... The, the, these little creases in the design. We'll work them out soon. Not now, because we want to fly it now, but we will work them out soon. So I'm going to fit these with wheels. They don't really, they're not really there for anything, to be honest. Actually, if we fit them on the inside, then they won't really get in the way of our thrusters. So let me do this quickly, pop the wheels on, and then I'll catch up with you guys when I've done it. Okay, so what I've done now is I've attached wheels on it. I don't know why. Kind of pointless, but I've also attached a big wheel on the bottom. So this is what it's going to sit on, and then the whole thing should be able to spin. Now, since it's even, it shouldn't, uh, it shouldn't, if I just connect this correct, is that connected? I think that's connected, why is it not, is it, have I not, set, okay, I've not set it, so, now there's balance everywhere, so it shouldn't tip all over, I'm hoping, Whee! look at that, <laughs> awesome, right, what I need to do now is put a seat on it, get in it, and fly, it should be amazing, right, I need to just, excuse me, just, there we go, just stand there, or just whatever there. We need to, like, nerd pull up. I really wish there was flying this game. Please, scrap mechanic people. If you're listening to this, if you're watching this, hello. Uh, I like your game, but please put um, flying in it so I don't have to do this. So I don't have to nerd pull. Right, so we need a seat. We need a driver's seat. Do we even drive seat? Can we, can we connect? Okay, never mind, whatever. Right, we're just gonna, we're just gonna put this on, like, here maybe? There? Ooh, is it gonna tipple over? Please don't tipple over. What about if I put... Okay, can I can I hop? Oh, nice. Nailed it. Right, if I do this, and then if I make a little platform, and if I have to make it even so that the thing doesn't tipple over. All right, we've got to walk around slowly. I don't know why I've put wheels on it. 
I'm really confusing myself here of why I've actually put wheels, like, here. Like, I don't know what that is going to do. I, I really don't know. Right, we'll put a seat on it. Uh, face it this way. Uh, it's not even. No, this is going to go so wrong, isn't it? Because it's not even. Never mind. We got, we got this. Let's connect all the thrusters to the steering wheel. Hit the button. Ding, dang, do. We have lift off and we've built a UFO. <laughs> this is going to go so well. Or so bad. We will find out, won't we? We will find out in one second. Right, let's connect this last one here. Are we all connected? We got... Yeah, okay. I think we're all ready. So, we need to... Is a ramp on it? Okay, the ramp's on it. Let's get rid of the ramp. Oh, this is going to be so good. Okay, get rid of all this stuff. Bye-bye. And then we jump in. This is Squid Nugget in his UFO reporting for launch over... Yeah, Squid Nugget, you are clear for takeoff. Right, okay, ready. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. Wait, how do I... Wait, wait, wait. Nope, 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 nope. Squid, Squid, what we need to do is we need to connect the switch to this. Okay, to this. Yes. Ah, wait, what's... No, why is it not working? Have I done this wrong? Okay, connect. No, don't connect that to that. Connect this to that. This to that. Okay, don't connect this to that. This to that, and then this to that. There we go. So if we press one now, nothing happens. Wait. Excuse me. Excuse me. Why is nothing happening? Why is it reset for? Okay, you stay there. Let me get in! No! Okay. It's good enough for me, let's go! <laughs> yes! If my seat was a little more centralized, this would work perfectly. Can we try this again? Hop on. Hop on, Squidoodle. Oh, yes! <laughs> it works! It actually sort of works. Look, it's, it's quite balanced. Let's, let's cut, cut it, cut it out, good, cut it out. It's still spinning. It's still spinning. Uh! Oh! <laughs> Not too shabby, I think. I think for 20 minutes, or even less. We have, we have made some of this amazing. Now, what would happen if I didn't spin? We, could we have a smooth enough lift off? I reckon we could. I reckon we could do it. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Okay, maybe not that smooth. But I think that's quite a lot to do with our seat. <laughs> it's pretty good, though. you got to admit, okay, right, for my first time, I, I, I haven't even, like, researched it or anything how to do it. I've literally just, just come straight on Scrap Mechanic and had a go at making a UFO. That is not too bad, okay? That is not too bad. But we have one last thing left to do before we go, and that is to test my aeroplane now. And why am I even walking when I've got this amazing device? I'm probably going to get, like, so far away from it now, aren't I? Can I spin a bit? Okay, this direction, Squidoodle. Hey, it works for something. No, wrong way, Squid. Okay, can we, can we, can we nail this? Can we, can we... Right, so why are we going backwards? It's definitely the seat, isn't it? Okay. So, if we're leaning this way... If I turn this way... <laughs> it's still the wrong way, isn't it? This way? I just, I just don't know where I'm going. I really want to go the other way. Can I turn around? No! Yeah, that way. If I just ride along the fence, I'm kind of getting further away here, aren't I? I really need to work out a steering mechanism. You know what? I'm going to pick this up and let's just run with it. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to get there in one piece, at least. But no, this, oh, this game is so much fun. I really need to... If I put, like, at least... I'd say probably, like, an hour into, hour into this, then I could probably get a, a fully working UFO. Um, I think I'm going to start live streaming it because it's one of them games where you can literally sink hours in. Uh, and hours will fly by, but I'll leave my Twitch in the um, in the description below. If none of you know what Twitch are, where have you been? It's basically like a live streaming surface way, service, not surface, service where you can go and uh, watch people stream uh, online content. But yeah, uh, I'll leave it in the description, and uh, if you follow me on Twitter, I'll probably tweet out when I'm going to be streaming this because it's such an awesome game. But yeah, I'll show you my airplane. I'm going to let this go here, uh, and then we're going to hop on our Squid Nugget Airline. So. This thing is, this thing is crazy. So, I'll show you the, the things. Look at all that. <laughs> so many jets. 
Right, let's get inside. Now, what I have is I put two wings on. Can you see the wings here? I actually built another model to this, which it had like the, the, the little uh, rotator at the back. And it went left and right, so you could like, like pitch left and right, but... This is pretty good. So I'm going to put them both up like this. This is going to point the thrusters at the ground. And then you can steer. I need to give it a little bit. I'm just going to wait because this is such a big runway for this, this, this vehicle. Here we go. Oh! It's a little bit heavy um, at the back. That's why it does like a full loop-de-loop. -loop. But with a few twigs, I reckon I could get this thing to, to fully work. <laughs> it's just kind of like a, a bus with wings at the moment. <laughs> but it's crazy. It's such a crazy device. I'm so happy that I built it. It's so cool. I did build one, but it was fully out of tile blocks. And it was so heavy. That thing couldn't lift off the ground. You could put like 100 engines on that and it just wouldn't lift. But yeah, that is Squiddy Airlines right there. Best airlines ever. But yeah, guys, that is Scrap Mechanic. I'm going to leave today's episode there for today. We've had some good fun. We've built... Uh, a semi-working UFO, which is always fun. I'm going to be back in another episode uh, doing some challenges. Uh, you guys have left some awesome challenges, so big shout out to you guys for doing that. You left some good challenges to do with flying, so I want to get some practice in before then. Um, so yeah, I think that we're going to be doing that in the next episode. And if you have any more suggestions of what you want me to build or try and build, uh, then leave them in the comment section below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all later.